Part of our plan to save money and reduce the city's footprint involved moving the DCAS citywide training center from lease space at 2 Washington to city-owned space at 1 Center Street. The new space required hoisting up a new AC unit that had a cooling capacity of nearly 900,000 BTUs. To minimize the impact on public transportation and traffic over the Brooklyn Bridge, the operation took place over the weekend. We have basically traffic closed off on Center Street North uh, down to Worth Street. There's a lot of people from different companies, uh, United Crane, um, STV, who's a consultant, AWL, which is the mechanical contractor who's renting out all this equipment. They're going to be working pretty much from 10 p.m. Friday through this whole operation. The evening of February 15th is where really a lot of the work starts to take place. Um, so we're hoping that um, you know, sometime around 9, 30, 10 o'clock, um, the truck comes, delivers the air conditioning unit to the curb in front of One Center Street by the south area, uh, because the roof is on the south side of the building. It's going to be picked up by this crane. It's gonna be lifted up and placed on dunnage uh, on the 26th floor. Um, and that's all gonna take place. Hopefully sometime late morning, uh, early afternoon, Saturday, February 16th. And come the morning uh, before this crane operation is going to occur, it, the wind cannot be, at a, cannot be 90 miles an hour or, or greater on a sustained basis. So the crane is essentially in a few pieces and it's going to be laid out on the street um, starting north of One Center Street. Uh, it probably will stretch almost to near 40 Center Street. Um, it, it's, that, it's that long. There's a DOV inspector and an MTA person because of the nature of this uh, operation. Uh, the um, DOV especially, um, since they're not too far away, we're going to be there for most of the part. And ultimately this crane operation can't take place until the DOV inspector is satisfied that everything is in place, everything is safe. Safety being the most important thing in this operation. It was finally determined uh, that 31 Chamber Street and 1 Center Street would be closed. Um, and we sent out notices Thursday night uh, that the building was going to essentially be closed Friday from 10 p.m. till Sunday, 7 p.m. Because just in case weather was a factor and this operation goes an extra day because we have all this equipment, it just would be easier to vacate the building altogether. There are rules that you know, usually it's the top two floors where the crane operation is taking place. It's just easier to uh, evacuate the buildings altogether and not have to worry about people getting in the way, walking under at a certain time. Um, so, two Lafayette really did not become a factor. Um, so, it's just 31 Chamber Street and one, one center. But evacuating those two buildings still was a large operation, especially one center. The crane itself has to be supported since it's carrying the height of the arm and the load. So it has to be put on the ground in a way that it doesn't move. Um, and it has to be positioned in a certain point that it's not over any 
openings under the street um, and that's why the MTA is present and why we had to get MTA approval beforehand. The distance to where this air conditioning unit is going to be dropped on the 26th floor south roof is 353 feet. Um, obviously the crane has to be higher than that because it's going to be swinging around one center street and it's also going to have to go over the top of 31 Chamber Street, Surrogates Court. Um, so looking at the plans um, not too long ago, it seems that the actual height of the crane is going to be closer to 450 feet tall um, because the arm has to swing and it has to move the unit down. Uh, the unit itself is about, I mean the air conditioning unit itself is about 14,000 pounds. <laughs>